Fluence Excel business rules allow companies to automate and standardize best practice chart and table formatting across the organization. Users can map their data to key business concepts which are understood by the chart library and can be plotted appropriately without manual formatting. In this example, we're using the IBCS notation of solid outlined hatched to represent actual plan forecast. The business rules also cover identification of revenues and expenses, as well as current month and current year. Fluence Excel charts default to the IBCS notation. However, this can be easily tailored to the appropriate corporate standards when required. Waterfall charts normally require a lot of work preparing the data before building the chart. While you can manually define totals and negate values on Fluence Excel charts, our business rules greatly simplify the process by allowing you to define and store that type of information centrally to be reused by all the charts you create. With that in place, creating a waterfall chart is as straightforward as choosing the accounts you want to show, which I will do here with a pre-save list. All of the formatting and positioning is then handled automatically. Users can also define the type of the data, be that actual, plan or forecast. Here we can see a waterfall chart with the rules applied that recognise expenses and totals, and one without business rules where every account is simply added to the previous one. To create the rules that will be applied to all charts existing on you, we use the Add Business Rules dialog. This can be accessed from the ribbon menu in the Business Chart dropdown. In the dialog, we can select the hierarchies that form different elements and drag the members over to create the rules. Once we click Add, a new sheet is added within the workbook. This sheet contains all the rules that have been created in a similar way to the Fluence Excel format sheet. In our example, we define the actuals which we can see in the type column. The for column will contain the relevant hierarchy and the match column will contain the member. Manual input is supported, enabling lists to be easily pasted in to define multiple accounts at once. Once the rules are set up, we simply have to refresh the chart to have them applied. We can save that sheet in a separate workbook so it can be easily reused in the future using the import business rule function. This allows the whole team to benefit from the work of a single individual. Business rules enable Fluence Excel charts to put variances into context. An increase to an expense will automatically be recognised as a negative change and thus be coloured in red. Inversely, a decrease to an expense will be positive and shown in green. This demonstrates that the colours are not simply based off recognising a positive or negative number, but instead based upon the impact of those numbers on the business.